There he is. Everyone's favorite Nintendo mascot, the plumber turned hero simply known as Mario. It's -a me, a Mario. While he's the most recognizable video game character in the world, if you really get to know the guy, he may actually be a little creepy. Don't just take our word for it, we'll prove it to you. Good night, sleep tight, we hope that Mario amiibo won't bite. Well, there's a creepy visual for you. Instead of just creeping around like Mario, subscribe to The Gamer and use a super jump to ring that bell and join our notification squad so you never miss any of our Nintendo videos. Without further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? Clean Cut Mario when Mario isn't sliding down pipes, busting bricks, or rescuing kidnapped Princess Peach from Bowser in the Mushroom Kingdom, he clearly has some pretty strict grooming habits. Throughout the years, Mario's mustache has always remained on point. Perfectly trimmed, there isn't a stray hair in sight, even after an underwater level. But what would happen if Mario lost the stash in one clean cut? Let's take a look and oh, oh my god, what happened to Mario? <laughs> Please let that grow back again quick. Wait, it's just a digital character and it happens instantly? Whew, there you are. Never shave that again, Mario. What a difference a quick shave can make. But why exactly does it look so weird? Our guess is the giant nose. Mario's stash really complements the nose, evens out his face, and prevents us from having nightmares every time we play Super Mario Odyssey. Maybe Princess Peach would consider him marriage material if he did shave. But for the sake of all us gamers, it, keep the mustache forever, Mario. Put down the razor. Mario's drowning. Now, dying in Mario was never a big deal. In the original Super Mario, the character would simply shrug at the screen and fall straight down as the sad sound effect played. Oh no! Players would die over and over again without giving it a second thought because Mario was just so casual about it. Well, everything changed with Super Mario 64, where you could get chills watching Mario die. In YouTuber Hurts gameplay, and no, we're not talking about a random bomb bomb attack, you have to go underwater to see the brutality. Even though Mario is given an insane amount of time to navigate the waters and breathe, some players push the limits and watch Mario drown, instead of simply falling back and cutting away. Mario grabs his neck, kicks his legs frantically, and then dies as his dead corpse bobs in the water. Yeesh! This is more traumatizing than a death scene in Jaws. Mario's age. Take a good look at Mario. How old do you think the young chap is? Unless you already knew, we're guessing you said somewhere between 35 and 40. Well, you'd be way off. According to Mario's original creators, the young plumber got a quick start into the world of fixing pipes because he's supposed to be around the age of 24 to 25. What? He looks way older than he seems, and this also means his twin brother Luigi is the exact same age as him. Can you imagine what they look like at 13 years old? They've probably never been carded in their life, and who knows when the mustaches actually grew in. Mario also hasn't seemed to age over the years, so he's still a youthful 25 years old in some of the newest games like Super Mario Odyssey and Super Mario Party. It makes a little sense since he's able to endure all types of party games along with his expansive series of sports titles. He's got that young blood, that young Mario blood. Homo Nintendoness. Speaking of Super Mario Odyssey, it changed so much about the Mario franchise. We got the use of Cappy and never want him to leave us again, saw the huge return of Pauline, and Mario got to explore plenty of expansive kingdoms, including New Donk City. Uh, but wait, why does Mario look like Mario while all the other citizens look like normal humans? It's because Mario isn't human. Yep, that's right. Our small plumber friend doesn't just have short jeans. He's technically considered his own species, a Homo Nintendoness. I'm sorry, what? Our only question, other than why we didn't know we were using a creepy alien hybrid for all these years, is what species Princess Peach is. Will they ever be able to have kids together? If Mario is a Homo Nintendoness, does that mean Wario and Waluigi are too? Drugging Luigi. Mario and Luigi are like your typical pair of siblings. They have fun together, go on adventures, and love to nag each other. Oh yeah, and then there's the one time Mario force-fed Luigi shrooms, he knew he would mess with him psychologically. Say what? Well, back in the 80s, Super Mario was a mega hit over in Japan, and the country got the benefit of a full-length Super Mario Bros. anime. The bizarre movie featured a number of elements that weren't canon, but one of the craziest was the shroom-eating scene. After seeing Luigi's reaction from eating the psychedelic shrooms, Mario tries to reverse the effect by feeding him even more. Gosh, Mario, not every mushroom is a dang power-up. After a crying fit and some angry outbursts, Luigi finally turned back to normal, seemingly unable to remember the crazy actions of his bro. Using Yoshi after spending three games running around, Mario finally decided to take a breather for Super Mario World and enlist the help of Yoshi as a riding companion. Not only was Yoshi worked to the bone to tug Mario around, but Mario ensured Yoshi was well-fed and energized during their journey. 
Yoshi had a fair share of apples and Koopas, which we hear are high in protein. But he didn't always eat voluntarily. It was often Mario controlling when Yoshi ate, and he didn't seem to focus on his diet too well. What can you expect from a pasta-loving plumber, hmm? Anyway, in the original Japanese release of Super Mario World, Mario forces Yoshi to eat something so disgusting, it was completely censored from American audiences. No, 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 no. Not Princess Peach. Even worse, the flying dolphins from the water levels. Yep, Yoshi can not only eat the dolphins, but he swallows them whole, slowly increasing their likelihood of joining the endangered species list. Yuck. Mario's Crazy Dreams Super Mario 2 was an odd entry in the franchise, mostly because Nintendo went cheap on us and used a developed game that had nothing to do with Mario and shoehorned characters like Luigi, Princess Peach, and Toad. So how can we explain the crazy game, weird controls, and a universe completely different from the Mushroom Kingdom? Well, it took place in Mario's dreams. Yep, even when the crazed plumber isn't running through levels and smashing bricks, he's doing it while he sleeps. Nintendo claims the game takes place in a world known as Subcon, as in Mario's subconscious. Oh, I see, I get it. So if everything in Mario's head is made up, then how come Birdo now exists outside of the Super Mario 2 world? Did Mario dream of Birdo? Did he do experiments on a Yoshi and create the creature for the real world? We need answers about Subcon already. Singing with Mario Ever since the original Super Mario Bros. game, the theme song has a special place in our hearts and it seems like it'll live on forever. We've had remixes and modern takes on the classic track, but did you know the very original song actually had lyrics? Thankfully, the original NES couldn't handle full songs, or else our view of the original song would be completely different. Hearing some of these lyrics will make you rethink the whole song and not want to hum along anymore. Released on vinyl back in the 80s, enjoy the non-Grammy award-winning lyrics like Goomba, Troompa, Fuzzy Beetle, Beat Them All. Mario is always full of energy and strong. And those are just two lines from the full song. Yeah, I'm not singing it. Just imagine, the lyrics themselves were chosen from hundreds of entries Nintendo took in during a theme song challenge. An original name. Mario is Mario, but in his early days, Nintendo just couldn't settle on a complete name for the digital character's birth certificate. He was referred to as Jumpman, Mr. Video, or just Donkey Kong's cruel owner. But even before all those terrible names were considered, Mario was referred to as Osan. It doesn't have quite the same feeling as Mario, but the definition will make things a little more clear. Osan actually stands for middle-aged man. Wow. Can you imagine children back in the 80s yelling to their parents? I'll be back soon! I'm going to the basement to play games with a middle-aged man! Uh, yikes. Thankfully, Osan was dropped and Nintendo got their act together to deliver the classic name Mario, and the rest was history. Mario meets Elvira Despite his dedicated love for Princess Peach, we all know Mario has had some side princesses over the years. In the Donkey Kong games, he attempts to rescue Pauline while in Super Mario Land. He traded in Peach for another princess by the name of Daisy. Well, Peach better watch her back again because on the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, Mario showcased feeling towards horror icon and TV personality Elvira. In the live-action Mario segment, we see the plumber staying up late and alone just to watch Elvira on TV. Then, in a dream segment, he cannot keep his hands off her and even tells her she's the girl of his dreams. The way Mario is all over Elvira is pretty intense and something Princess Peach probably wouldn't be too fond over. You would think the dark mistress Elvira would be more of Bowser's cup of tea. But apparently Mario's looking for love anywhere he can get it. Mario, you dog, you! Mario's Twin Martin With a character as popular as Mario, he's bound to deal with the rip-offs, hacks, and phonies. There are plenty of knockoff side-scrolling games that cannot quite capture the same magic, but in the world of products, Mario has been ripped off as well, with a creepy duo known as Dino and Martin. The bootleg toys rolls on the ground and features Mario, uh, we mean Martin, riding on the back of a dino. The scariest part of the toy is the dino's glowing red eyes, a feature we've never seen Yoshi use during any of the games. Out of the package, you would think the toy was just some cheap official Mario merchandise, but it's the packaging that really takes the cake here. The giant Dino and Martin title tag is basically screaming bootleg, and the company is so unapologetic about its creation. Five Nights at Mario's Mario's exploration through Boo's haunted house are pretty much the limits his game will go to provide some scares. Want to see the true creepiness and potential of a scary Mario game? Then try out one of the many Five Nights at Freddy's Mario adaptations. The new twist on the horror game transforms Mario into an animatronic killer, ready to attack at any moment's notice. The mix of pizza restaurant and children's fun is a natural fit for Mario and his gang. These homemade games may not have been as polished as the real Five Nights at Freddy's, but they provide enough inventiveness and jump scares to keep players entertained for the long haul. An official game crossover could feature even more scares and finally represent the horror side of Mario, where Luigi's Mansion was never able to. Photobomb Mario You really want to see Mario in creep form? 
Well, so did the rest of the internet back in 2010, when Mario was celebrating his 25th anniversary. After a picture was released of Mario's cake-cutting ceremony, fans couldn't help but notice how creepy the Mario mascot looked in the background. And boy, did they take advantage of it. The photobomb Mario has turned to a full-blown meme, appearing in random pictures as a photobomb creeper, staring at everything from newborn babies to couples hanging out together. Just imagine how scared you'd be looking in the bathroom mirror and seeing Mario standing behind you, just staring. Of course, the meme draws plenty of laughs, but it'll make you look at Mario in a whole different light. Go ahead and join the bandwagon and see what kind of crazy Mario photos you can come up with. Super Mario Dolor some fan-based Mario games like to keep things simple with basic level changes while sticking to the same formula and design. Then there's Super Mario Dollar, one of the creepiest fan-made Mario games you'll ever play. In the spooky 3D side-scroller showcased by YouTubers the Hobo Bros, Mario goes on a journey in a land that looks nothing like the Mushroom Kingdom. There are crazy creatures that pop up out of nowhere and sudden scares that could easily give you nightmares. The game makes you feel like Mario has eaten just one too many mushrooms over the years. You can see just how crazy and scary the game is in this playthrough. Oh, that's a bad choice trip right there, isn't it? Let's just state the obvious. Super Mario Dollar is just one game Nintendo will never officially release or endorse. Going Inside Mario Some things in video games were not meant to be seen. In this case, it's the inside of Mario's body. Now you would assume that his insides would feature typical organs, but there was no need for developers to get that deep into the creation. So when YouTubers Nick and Griffin from Polygon used the Dolphin emulator to explore Super Mario Galaxy, fans are in for a disturbing surprise. In Mario's big noggin alone, we see an empty shell and a large opening we can only assume is for a whole lot of pasta. A few crazy angles later and they show his crazy mouth full of jacked up teeth. It looks like Mario has actually been pounding away the bricks with his head rather than his fist. If these are the crazy details that go into making a game, then we just want to stick with the finished product, thanks. Okay, admit it, are you as creeped out as us? Do you view Mario completely different than before? It's a me, uh, Mario. Do you think there's a dark side to Mario no one knows about? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer for more Nintendo videos like this one. Thanks for watching.